tough, tough case there. All right, we go to our roundhouse now where guns we're front and center today. For hours, a House committee debated three of the eight gun restriction efforts our governor is backing this session. All three of them happen to now be moving forward. Spencer yeah. Schott listened in on those committee debates. So Spencer, some pretty fiery moments amongst the lawmakers today, but what exactly would the bills themselves do? Well, all of them would either restrict who could buy a gun, what kind of gun they can buy, or how long it takes them to buy one. Now, here are those bills. One would add a 14-day waiting period to gun purchases. Another would create a, a ban on certain semi-automatic assault weapons. And the third would raise the age to purchase semi-automatic weapons to 21. Now, they all passed along party lines tonight and move on to another House committee. But let's look closer at the first. One. Now, this is the waiting period bill. It would require all buyers in our state to wait 14 business days to get their weapons. It would be the longest waiting period in the nation. And a comparison, Hawaii and California only have 10 day waiting periods. Democratic Representative Andrea Romero says it's meant to be a sort of cooling off period to allow time for the federally required background checks to be completed. That's what we're closing with the current loophole that if you did not have a verified background check in the state of New Mexico currently, a federal firearms, a, f a federal licensed dealer could just hand over that uh, firearm without that background check. And that creates a potentially very dangerous situation. Now on to her next bill, the proposed assault weapon ban. Now, Representative Romero introduced a very similar bill last year, but there are major changes this time around. This bill would ban gas-operated semi-automatic guns. It focuses on the inner mechanisms of the weapon, and it mimics a federal bill that our U.S. Senator Martin Heinrich has introduced. The bill also pro prohibits detachable magazines that hold more than 10 bullets, bump stocks, and other attachments. There are exceptions, though. People who already own this type of gun will be grandfathered in, but they would be added to a registry oversaw by the New Mexico Department of Justice. Now, finally, the last bill would raise the age to legally purchase a semi-automatic or fully automatic firearm to 21 years old. 18-year-olds would still be able to purchase shotguns or bolt-action rifles, for example, but there are a few other examples for or exceptions for this bill. That includes 22 caliber rifles. And if the 18 to 21 year old works for law enforcement, then they can carry a semi-automatic weapon. And this bill also makes an exception for shooting competitions and hunting. Now, all three of these bills that we talked about tonight passed the House Commerce and Public Affairs Committee today, and the two Republicans on the committee voted against all of them. Now these bills will go on to the House Judiciary Committee, and if they pass there, they'll move on to the House floor for a vote. All right, Spencer, thanks so much. And then it would have to go through the Senate. So yes. still a lot to happen here Long in this process session. Long process ahead of us. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Spencer, thanks so much.